putting food on the table is a fundamental part of any family life. Once infants have been weaned, they have to learn how to forage on their own. A young Barbary macaque takes its lead from the troop's senior supervisors, searching the slopes of the rock of Gibraltar for a meal. The diet of most macaques consists of a mixture of plants and insects like snails, worms, and spiders. The Gibraltar monkeys have an advantage over their African and Asian kin. They are a popular tourist attraction. And despite rules against feeding, they get, and often take, their fair share of handouts. Hand feeding often encourages good monkeys to behave badly. Local officials have taken measures to control the feeding. They offer grains of barley and chopped up vegetables to keep the monkeys happy and occupied. It's a healthier alternative to human leftovers that can cause tooth decay and disease. But it's a less than ideal solution to a serious problem. Any helping hand from humans puts the monkeys at risk. On the rock of Gibraltar, natural predators like dogs and birds are scarce. Cars and trucks, however, are not. A sentinel watches from above as other members of the troop scavenge for food. Suddenly, he appears agitated, scratching and moving sporadically. He senses danger and calls out to the rest of the troop. It's a very specific call. Pitch and loudness vary based on the caller and whom he's calling. Barbary macaques can tell the difference between calls by members of their own troop from those in other groups. They even have different calls for different threats It's an essential skill for the society to survive. Thanks to the warning signal, the foraging party is able to move out of harm's way. <laughs> 